Yee-haw! Welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we've got another first watch review. Uh, two items from the fall menu, and uh, we've only got two reviews. We've already done the first, so just kept it brief this season, but they've got their pumpkin pancakes back, which are okay. I mean, they need more pumpkin flavor, in my opinion. But anyways, we got churro twist and uh, queso barilla... Um, quesadilla or Berea quesadilla benedict sorry i'm just trying to think of the word for breakfast what what breakfast word are they using so oh boy we, we're starting to drip so all right that's not a great thumbnail but it is what it is so the queso Berea tacos um have barbacoa it's queso Berea style um, it's topped off with poached eggs, uh, hollandaise sauce, and a ranchero sauce, like a tomato sauce, kind of like a salsa in a way. Um, but yeah, I do hope you subscribe and like and comment on this video. It's time to enjoy us a nice and hearty breakfast. And let's try and show off the tacos. I know it's hard to see how those are tacos, but um, they are. They are. Um, they're covered in a lot. See, that's a taco at the end there. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and try to eat this crazy looking dish. I'm gonna get some egg. Oh man, so that's what a poached egg is. All right, so got that. Go ahead and cut into this bad boy. Mm. All kinds of sauce on it. All right, I'm gonna try it. It's good, definitely got a southwest vibe to it. A little bit of a kick to that sauce, uh, that ranch air sauce. I'm not a big fan of, um, what's the word? I'm not a big fan of salsa or red sauces, so. It is a bit strong in terms of that, and it blocks out the holidays. So my recommendation is if you don't like that, you could probably tell them to leave it off. And then B, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it without just to see, you know, ha it's a good thing they do half and half. Like it's not like all, cause that's a lot. That ri that ranch air sauce is a lot. So kind of give it a little bit of balance if you eat it separately. So let's eat one more bite. Yeah, because that ranch aero sauce with that berea, it's all too similar. It's all kind of the same there. So even with the about the ranch aero sauce, it's still pretty strong um, with those notes of spice and tang. And I don't know. I don't love this item. I think it's solid. I would give it a seven. Um, but when I think of berea, I like the flavors more. You know, I... I I have more of a savor, less of a tang. There's some kick, but less of a tang from that tomato. Um, you know, tomato sauces are not my favorite. So, you know, I, I'm coming away a little bit shortchanged on this, in my opinion. I feel like it's overly strong on that, that ranchero flavor. So, I've definitely had items more balanced and more enjoyable than this from first watch. So now we're going to go to dessert, I guess. I mean, not technically because this is a brunch place. So everything's technically breakfast. But when I think about churros, I think about dessert. So um, always something to keep in mind. We're going to go ahead and take one of these. We're going to eat a bite without any sauce. It ain't too bad. Light, flaky, um, nice little touch of cinnamon, sugar. For some reason, I think I like the uh, KFC funnel cake fries better, though. They have a little bit more flavor to them. So we're going to try the chocolate sauce first. Mmm. This is like a mocha chocolate sauce. That's really good. Um, 
I like that. Maybe not the, ooh, spilling it. Maybe not the perfect chocolate flavor, but still really good. I give the twists like a seven too. Again, you know, that they're kind of light and not super flavorful, but they work. All right, so now we're trying the caramel sauce. I'm sorry, I'm not showing it off, but y'all know what caramel and chocolate look like. I mean, come on, we know the colors. Okay. That caramel sauce is a game changer. That, that sauce is so good that when you dip it in there, it elevates it all the way from a seven to a 10. That, that flavor is just, that's smacking that, that caramel. So, um, sauces can always make a difference. It did for the churros. It also did for the Berea. So always something to keep in mind. It, it's, it's always how much and what. And, uh, that's kind of what we had here. So sauces were the big game changers for this experience. All right, then that, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see y'all around. Yeah!